And welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Brant. I'm Lisa. And this is Brant versus Lisa. We're back. <laughs> yes. For <laughs> the second part of this series, which is rated and ranked. So those five books that you saw in the last video, and you can find that link in the description below to get to that, or the go to the Brant and Lisa playlist on my channel. You will see which books we picked. Basically, again, to run it down, if this is your first video of Brant versus Lisa, we each pick a book that we want to read, we each pick a book that we want the other person to read, and we each pick a book together. Yeah. Equaling five books, and <laughs> then we read them, and we rate them, and we rank them. And we see if we agree or yeah. not. <laughs> Which, probably not. Probably not. So we're <laughs> gonna go through this. The books that we, we talked about were, um, right here, out of order. We did Hexwives number three, WWE number 24, Archie 701, Champions number one and unnatural number six. Yeah. So let's start with the number five. You want to go first? You want to... I'll go first. Okay. Go first. My number five is Hex Wives <laughs> number <figured>. three, <laughs> which I gave three stars. <laughs> three stars. Three stars. Um, what? You're gonna be mad at me. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> so I gave it three stars, and I, I think I was being pretty fair. Um, we had to read all three issues back to back, and that, we're not going to go into a, a big, long drawn out review or, or anything like that. But no. um, I'm not sure it's my thing. I, I was really excited about Merkin and Dolfo's art, but then the coloring kind of changed her art a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. It's got the Stepford Wives kind of Witches of Salem kind of vibe going on. I thought it was almost Truman Show ish little... as well, which made me like it a little more. Yeah. So, it's okay. I don't know if it's a keeper for me, though. Yeah, I think I'll give it a few more. Okay, so what's your number five? WWE, <laughs> number 24, of course. Which she gave <laughs> two, two stars. stars. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I would have liked it a lot better if it weren't this issue. Yeah. Because this issue was... It was basically guys kicking each other in the you know what. <laughs> the entire issue, almost. Yeah. It started off okay, and there were some moments out of the ring that I liked. That were, you know, like, the art's really good. Yeah. I could say that. Um, but I didn't like the storyline. But he told me that was actually the storyline of the wrestling it's, matches. So yeah. I can't really blame that on the writer or anything either. For, for, so. <laughs> for anybody in wrestling, it was AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura when the low blow parade went on, you know, as every other episode there was a low blow. Um, yeah, it wasn't the strongest issue of the series. I agree with you. I wish that wasn't your introduction to it because there are some really strong issues before mm -hmm. I understand. I liked the friendship aspect of it. Yeah. So, I'll give it that. Okay. That's probably what got the stars. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so number four, you, you can start. Four for me was Hex Lives. Okay. So, we just discussed it. It was mainly... I just don't, I don't know where it's going. Yeah, what'd you rate it? Three. Three. Okay, so we so rated that the same. We were the same. Okay. And it, if the art were colored differently, mm -hmm. I think I would like it a little more. Yeah. Just right. because Unnatural wins me over, just because it's Yeah, it's, it's such gorgeous. a beautiful book, yeah. Alright, so my number four <laughs> is Champions, number one, which I gave three and a quarter star. Mm -hmm. And... The reason being is because it was very much a setup issue, and I understand it's a new volume to the series, but they, the direction they went with it, too, was a little strange for me, Bra branching off into a bunch of different teams and bringing in a whole slew of new characters when I was just getting comfortable with the team the way it was. Uh, so it kind of threw me off a little bit. I thought the ending was really interesting, and I want to see where that goes, uh, not to spoil it, because it was... For Spider-Man fans, it was a pretty big thing that happened. It's like, oh, what are they doing there? I um, had to ask him what happened. Yeah, so <laughs> that was that was a little weird, but we'll talk about that on, on a Frontline Live over on Comic Frontline, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, so that's my number four. <laughs> yeah, I can go ahead and say that was my number three. Okay, so what did you say? I rate? gave it three stars. Three stars, okay. I'm, I matched the other one just because I, I knew the main characters like you were talking about yeah. from other books right but i didn't know any of those other guys <laughs> that were introduced <laughs> and uh i like that viv is in it because yeah. i read the vision right. miniseries the Tom King miniseries, yeah. and i would like to see where it goes but it, i wasn't blown away yeah i i you gotta read that last arc that they had in the in the previous volume it was yeah. really strong when jim zub took over the title it got really strong i just don't know where he's going with this it's mm -hmm. it's weird all right so my number three was unnatural number six and i gave it three and a half stars um i i love this book 
but I didn't think this was the strongest issue of the series. And it's the it's the first issue of the second arc, so you are getting a, a brand brand new beginning, so you have to do a little bit setup yeah. again. But I just I felt like the direction and the supporting cast and everything that was involved in the first arc, which we lost obviously, right. um, was a lot stronger than this. And I'm just not sure how I feel about the direction it's headed now. Yeah. Same like Champions. Maybe it's just that it, it flipped to the villains a little more than we had been yeah. with before. That's true. So that might be part of it. I agree with your. I gave it three and a half as well. Is that was it's my number three two, as well? It's my number two. Oh, so I can go ahead and say. Yeah, well, you haven't done your number three. Yet. I did. What's your number Champions. three? Champions. Oh. I went ahead and told you mine. Since okay, it was the that's same right. As your number okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. So, yeah. so that was your number two. That was my was number unnatural. two. Unnatural. Okay, my number two was. WWE. Oh, WWE. WWE 24, which I also gave three and a half stars. I agree with you. It wasn't the best issue, <laughs> but I'm a huge AJ Styles fan, so that kind of ups it a little bit for me. Yeah. But m normally, this book is in my top five on Frontline, so yeah. like my main top five, and I usually rank it like four to four and a half. Right. This was much lower. Than <laughs> me, so. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah. So that <laughs> means both of our number one, which really surprised me because this was one I didn't want to read. Was Archie 701. Yeah, that was my pick. Yeah. I gave it three and three quarter stars. I gave it three and a half. Okay. So, you go first, because I just went. <laughs> I read them both back to back. Mm -hmm. So, I may be mixing up okay. what happened. But, I just like that you're getting sort of both sides. You're getting what you're, the Archie you're used to and the Riverdale kind of stuff. Stomach is Because <laughs> he hasn't eaten much today. <laughs> um... Because you're getting the mystery stuff, which I always like when that's yeah. introduced to a book. So be because we're getting the fun Archie stuff and the mystery, I, I like it a lot. Yeah. I thought this issue was uh, much stronger than the first issue. The first issue had me worried about where Nick Spencer was taking it because <laughs> he, it felt very Riverdale to me. And I... Yeah. I like Riverdale for what it is, but it's not Archie to me. Mm -hmm. It's just like Archie adjacent. It's like a take on Archie. I didn't want that in my main book, and so it kind of scared me a little bit. And you're throwing in everything else. You're throwing in a mystery and, and possible murder and all this different stuff <laughs> and Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina. And all these all these things in the, the main Archie book. And it's like, oh, it feels a little bit heavier, darker than I'm used to and uh, want. But this issue, I felt that it did lighten it up a bit. Yeah. And like you said, you get both sides of that. Yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say I like the part where I think Jughead some, said something about he shouldn't have gotten a job. <laughs> That's yeah. where everything turned around. Yeah. And that, <laughs> that felt more like classic Jughead to yeah. me. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah. No, because I, I don't know. It felt like they were going a Riverdale direction with Jughead, which I like. Jug He's my favorite part of Riverdale. Mm -hmm. But it's not the Jughead that I'm used to in the comics. Yeah. So I like that they went back yeah, to it seemed more basics with him. Yeah. Lighthearted at times. Yeah. But it was still. Yeah, and I do like the fact that you know Sabrina is kind of thrown as a as a cog in the wheel of mm -hmm. the Betty Veronica Archie yeah, dynamic. Yeah, because, because you get to see Betty and Veronica sort of working together. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's interesting. It, it kind of won me up over a little bit. It's still not way up there for me, yeah. but definitely an improvement. Yeah, no five stars. Yeah, no four this, stars even. Or, or four stars, not of this batch, but yeah. still, I enjoy most of them. Yeah. So, I had a lot of fun with the series. Yeah, me too. And so we're going to continue doing it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. And I'm reading. Yeah. <laughs> I've been falling behind, so this is going to help me a lot. <laughs> yeah, and she only has to do it in small amounts, so that's that's probably better. Um, we're trying to settle on a, on a specific day for each one of these, and we haven't, we had a it, it was a holiday week and we had some issues that we had to deal with this week that yeah. kind of threw things out um threw things off schedule and off, off kilter so mm -hmm. um going up on an odd day this week but we'll try to get it situated for you guys <laughs> and let you know what the schedule is yeah. later on but uh hope you by like the this. end of january for sure yeah yeah <laughs> we'll have it figured out. <laughs> but hopefully you like this and if you did please give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you get updates when new content goes up on this mm -hmm. channel or just follow this playlist if you just want to see Brant versus Lisa because mm -hmm. we're going to be doing this stuff. And if we do any hauls, we'll do the, kind of the same thing. We'll put it all under the same yeah. umbrella. 
It'd be fun that way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Just Any challenges? Stuff. Yeah, we may do some challenges. Yeah, maybe. Stuff like that later in the, in the future. Yeah. I think we, we did a gingerbread challenge over at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so pathetic, though. <laughs> maybe, maybe we won't post that. <laughs> maybe. Um, <laughs> you can follow me at Brant Fowler on Facebook and Twitter, at Last Number Press on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Keeping It Kawaii. And I have my YouTube channel is Little Victories YT. Yeah. So, which I'm going to start posting art videos there. So. Yeah. so go subscribe to that as well and check out lastimperpress.com, zone4podcast.com, comicfrontline.com, where you'll hear me and the rest of the frontliners talk about our definitive top five for the week and on Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. And come back here this week for a brand new episode of Monday Musings and more Grant versus Lisa. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.